today we're gonna do a DIY. Um, I'm gonna make the body shape candles for Valentine's Day. This is a part of my one of my self love um, projects that I wanted to do. I wanted to make these full figure plus size candles that I can light for rituals or for bathtub self-care Sundays type of thing so I got this well I actually got two of these and this came from Amazon the link will be down in the description bar this is the second one of course in plastic I think I'm just going to try um, one of them and then come back and then the mini wax kit which I also got from Amazon and I got a mini one just because the um, silicone is like, you know, it's not too, too, it's not that big and it's not much in there. But as you can see, it doesn't have a point. I'm sorry. You can kind of see a point right here. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up, but that's where you need to kind of make a hole. So I'm going to go get a knife to kind of um, just cut through. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, right here, it's like a hole right here. So I just want to make a little puncture right there. And I'm going to go on the other side and make another hole. I'm trying to push it down. Because we want, we want the actual... Um, the little we want to be able to light this one I know some people kind of like have these and they don't they don't uh you know just have them up as decoration so they didn't put like a little fire wick and then I'm going to try to like stretch it out with my knife a little bit stretch it out okay that should be decent okay I'm gonna put that to the side Let's open up the craft butt box. Okay. Now I picked this one because of course it was like a mini version. So you get the stainless steel um, mug or cup for. Then you get dyes because I was thinking about doing like a red one or maybe a pink one. You, of course you can mix the colors. You get a bag of wax. You get the little, um, I forgot where these are supposed to go. I think they go on like the bottom with like the wicks or whatever. Yeah, actually, let me go ahead and take one out. And these are pretty like sturdy. You take a little bottom piece from right here and then I'm gonna peel this back and I'm going to peel the other side of it actually I think I might not peel the other side of it and then of course I need one of these too which I'm not really for sure if I really need need one of these oh and it also comes with this I think it comes with two spoons two spoons but I'm gonna go use this one today Okay, I think I'm going to put this right here because I think this is where it goes. And then I am going to go ahead and stick this through and hopefully I'm doing it right. Stretch out the top, right? Okay, actually, let me put this through just like by a little bit. Then I want to right here, right? I'm gonna come through on the other side. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me move this up in there. So I'm gonna like stick it through. I don't know if you guys can see it. But what I'm doing is I have the knife sitting like this. Then I'm gonna come through right here. And then what I'm gonna do is like push it over to the side a little so I can pull it pull it through right and so I'm gonna pull it through 
to about right here because I want it to be at the end, right? And now we have this together, right? For our candle. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right on the side and then I'm going to start the wax. I don't know if this, oh, it does fit. Okay, that's good. You know, the box actually doesn't come with instructions. I was hoping I'm doing this right. Um, yeah, okay. So, like I said, here's the soy wax. I don't think I need much. I'm gonna put it on low. Put it on low. box over to the side i don't think i'm gonna do dyes yet even though i would like to do a red one for valentine's day well maybe i should i don't know this looks like it may be enough um, okay i'm gonna put just a little bit more right actually i think i am gonna let's just make a red one so this kind of looks like a burgundy color so it's kind of like a blue and an orange or like an orange is red i think i'm gonna go with like kind of like this burgundy color because i think that might be better suited put the wax back let me clear off some of this stuff okay i'm gonna put the wax right here all right hopefully you guys can see Move the camera up a little bit more. So right now, I just have it kind of like melting the wax. And what I'm going to do is cut off a little small piece of this and dip it in there. We'll stick it in there. And it's starting to melt already. chopping it up a little so it's thicker than I thought the pieces of wax okay and I'm just gonna put some of that in there and as you can see it's starting to melt I just wanna spin it up a little you can see i don't know if i put enough of the color in there i kind of chopped it off like you chopped in butter i'm hoping that it's enough i'm hoping it's enough wax um let me put a little bit more wax in it because i don't think it's enough okay so i'm gonna put a little bit more like red but it's let me put a little bit more color in it it's kind of like it's giving like a little orangey so let me put a little bit more of the color on it in there so I want it to be kind of dark and vibrant a good little red consistency I think it's almost warm enough 
one more little piece in it. So. Okay. I think it's ready. What you guys think? Kind of look like cough syrup a little. Maybe I should have put a little bit more in there, but I think this is enough because like I was saying, it's a small wax. Let me move the camera back. It's a small wax. So what I did, I ended up putting the wick, but I bent it a little so that it can stay right there. And what I'm gonna do now is just directly pour this into here and hope that it's fine. Okay, trying to move this over a little. Ooh, I think we might need some more wax real quick. <laughs> Let me try to do this as quickly as I can before it dries. Okay, we are good to go. And let's see. So we want it to go almost to, yep, the rim. Yep, it's perfect. Let me put this on. And I didn't use this part, but this is really good when you have like, um, the little um, candle um, bowls or the little candle, um, you know, like the glass um, little containers that they usually come in to kind of help the wick from not moving. We didn't have to use that this time. And I just want to move it one more time over. I think that's it. Okay, so now we just let this it oops and let it cool down and then we'll see what the end result is okay so after an hour of waiting it is now dry i believe it still feels a little warm but nevertheless it's dry and i'm mad because i had like a little tiny bit that was left and i probably should have just kept pouring because you can see it's a little dip in there but it should be okay. So let's unfold and see. I'm gonna be as gentle as possible. <laughs> okay, how do I do? I'm like, I'm trying to do this without, ooh, it's still kind of soft. Okay, maybe I need to wait. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, it's, okay, maybe I need to wait because kind of like warm like you know when you put heat to wax the silicone is still a little warm I'm trying to try to push it okay oh I think I kind of got it okay okay Whew. <laughs> the struggle this thing is sh like strong okay <laughs> I'm trying to be as careful as possible <gasps> no <laughs> going to have to make another one because I don't think it cooled down as long as it needed to no no wow oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> But it would have been like this. <laughs> oh my 
gosh, I'm going to try to make another one and come back. Or you know what I'm going to do? See, this is not going to come back in there. It like completely broke the whole wick off. So, you know what I'm going to do? I know how to fix this. <laughs> Okay, this is how I'm gonna fix it. So cut this, right? Although I'm not gonna be able to like, you know, heat it up the way in which I would like it to be. Turn on this. Turn on the iron, um, the stove top iron. And let me get, oh, this. Let's make this hot. Let's make it hot. Right. We want to make this warm so it can connect together. We want to put it on both sides. And I think next time, even though it was um, maybe like an hour or so, that it has been like kind of like warming and sitting i think that i will let it sit overnight instead you know okay let's put homegirl's top back on <laughs> This is probably the stomach piece. Wow, I didn't know how soft this was going to be. I would have definitely, you know. Let's move it. Let's move it over. Let's move it over. We want to fix the belly up again. And then we have some pieces in the back that have melted off. So we definitely want to like make the grooves smoother like this so that it's grooving into the back, right? And this one I'll just use as a, um, I think this one I'm just going to like, you know, use it as a mannequin type of, well, like a little, you know, a house or office um, decor thing. I have like some dripping. So we'll make sure we smooth this out. I'm gonna get around here in the ends, right? And now the belly is a little off, <laughs> but I'm gonna fix all of that in a second. So I'll just use that. So now you guys know how to fix your candle if the if it breaks because of the pain the um the silicone you don't let it dry long enough then i'm just going to use my finger right now just to kind of like smooth it over and smooth it okay and one last time, let the fire hit it. Let's name like that. Now I'll go back around the bottom. Okay. Now look. Now look. Look how we fixed that. We did it. We did that. Look. Now you know how to fix your candle. Although you won't be able to burn this one for too long. Let me cut this down. Yeah. Okay. Because
because I'm such a freaking perfectionist, <laughs> I want to get around the edges a little bit more. In the stomach area. Okay. All right, now it's perfect. Look at that. It's perfect. All right. Look, the stomach, you can't even tell that it broke in half. This is perfect. So now you got two in one. How to fix your candle too after making it in case it falls apart. But this is amazing. I love this. I can't wait to make more. I'm gonna try to make a couple of more. Um, I don't have the time because I think you need like two or three hours honestly to let this sit because as you can see, that's probably why mine fell apart. But I love it. And she's plus size. She's the belly, the booty. <laughs> and all of that so i hope you guys enjoy this diy let me know down in the comments if you want any other diys or um any other little content that we can kind of make where you can do it yourself <laughs> bye guys